The siege of Jedz was a siege in 1463 and was part of the Ottoman-Hungarian Wars. The Hungarian victory meant the maintenance of Christiandom in Bosnia and, with the repulse of Ottoman forces, the protection of Hungarian territories for the 15th century. Beginning from the Diet of Buda of 1462 some Bosnian-Hungarian borderline fortresses were already guarded by the Kingdom of Hungary and King Stephen Thomas Ivic of Bosnia was accepted as a vassal to her. The Bosnian king refused to pay tribute to the Porti thereafter. As a consequence both Ottoman and Christian sides began the war preparations. Travnik Fortress Sultan Memtu gathered an army of one 150,000 soldiers in Adrianopolis and departed for the Lower Danube area in April 1463. As a part of a diversion attack he commanded Ali Bey Mihaloglu to invade southern parts of the Kingdom of Hungary. The Bey crossed to Simia, but was pushed back by Andrew Pongrich's high cup bearer of Hungary. He suddenly made a flanking move to the heart of Hungary until he reached Temsvar where he ran into John Pongrich's voivode of Transylvania and was defeated in a fierce battle. Meanwhile Mehmet II advanced to Travnik, which he besieged, then moved to the capital city Bobovac that fell within three days. Stephen Tomasovic was advised to entrench himself in the high mountains although he chose to withdraw to Judge and later to Kuljuk and burnt the bridges of the roads along. Remnants of Bobovac Fortress Anuglu Omabe pursued his trail taking Jajs without a fight and pushed to Kljuk through the Sava River and the surrounding mountains despite the marshy ground and the general inaccessibility to the town. Seeing himself in a dead-end situation Thomas Ivic set his wife and mother to a journey through Raguse to Hungary to find refuge. He fortified himself in Kljuk Fortress. After their arrival the Ottomans set fire around the city thus forcing the inhabitants to surrender in despair. Muhammad Pasha Angelovic granted the Bosnian king. He swore an oath to the Sultan and capitulated when he was promised safe retreat in return. He had to spread this agreement to the remaining fort captains in eight days and as a result 70 places and 1 million florins were handed to the porti. Discontent with this agreement Mehmet rebuke Muhammad and instructed him to transport the Bosnian king to his court. Stephen Thomas Ivic was double-crossed and despite his oath to the Sultan the last ruler of Bosnia was beheaded at Kavopol near Jajs. The Sultan divided his expeditionary army into three, one led by him, one by Omar Bey and one by Muhammad Pasha, respectively, and raided the surrounding countries as well as completed the conquest of Bosnia. Omar Bey surged in the direction of the Kingdom of Croatia, while Mehmet moved towards the Duchy of St. Sava. In Croatia Omar Bey confronted and slew Paulus Disbranchic Ban of Croatia and his entourage of 800 men. With the help of the Bogomils, Stjpanvuksik Kosaka was able to withstand the intrusion of Mehmet for a short time, before sending his youngest son as a hostage to Istanbul, and ceding all of his lands to the north of Blagaj fort to the Empire. Premis. Mehmet II chose not to engage in winter operations and retreated bringing 100,000 prisoners and leaving Mehmet, Minit, Bey in charge in Bosnia. He also didn't have other choice as their horses were exhausted and the supple lee lines were inefficient. King Mathias Corvinus sent a couple thousand ecclesiastic army to the lower Sava Valley and the Black Army of Hungary led by John Pongrich Stadenge Legend supplemented by the Szekelers to the village of Kev. He also envoyed a garrison to his Adriatic subject, the Republic of Ragusa as a preventive measure. He also commissioned ambassadors to the Signoria of Venice and Pope Pius II. Both of them promised financial aid. The Holy See granted a sum sufficient for the military service payment of 1,000 cavalry for an year. Venice offered 20,000 ducats for the anti-Ottoman defense. Matthias ordered all dispensable transport points to sail to the enlist point of Petrovaradin. Matthias sought a long-term alliance with Venice. In 12 September just before the launch of the attack Matthias and Venetian orator John Nemo in the camp in Petrovaradin. The terms were they form a mutual protective and offensive alliance against the Turks. They don't conclude peace unbeknownst to the other. The Republic of Venice provides 40 galleys and puts all of her Dalmatian and Peloponnese captains on a war footing. 
the parties involved won't violate each other's territorial integrity. The Duchy of St. Sava hesitated between the Ottomans, Venice and Hungary to be subjugated to. In October they came to the decision to offer themselves to Venice. Already an ally to Hungary the Doge of Venice Christopher Amaro gently replied that Hungary had already made the necessary steps to relieve Bosnia. Her armies entered Bosnia and besieged Jadz as well as the other fortresses. Following the events Stjpan Vuksik Kosaka lent himself to Mathias who accepted his service. In exchange Vladislav Herzegovic was promoted a Hungarian banner lord and reassured the estates or Stjpan. This ancillary alliance was signed on 6 December. Siege Mathias branched off his army into two divisions. The first led by Americs Apulia was about to approach Jadz from the north along the Vaz River while the other led by the king himself carried the siege weapons and chose the network of paved roads, called Ma, from the northwest to Kljuk liberating each city connected. The population welcomed the troops and even joined them as the Franciscan clergy maintained a religious unrest throughout Bosnia. He appointed John Pongrich Stadenschleg as the supplies overseer and Provost Gasper back of Berens as the ammunition, siege engines operator. The third contingent was recruited in Croatia thus it arrived from west from the direction of Bihak and commanded by Martin Franchpan, while the St. Savan reinforcements blocked Jajstha from the south, Prusa, Don G. Vakuf. In November Mathias reached the town in a four to five four days march, which is considered quite a fast progress regarding the medieval infrastructure conditions. Upon the recent success among the Bosnian population Mathias anticipated local support and so he instantly attacked the town of Jajka in 5-6 October that was subdued for the first try. After a short hand-to-hand -hand combat the Ottoman garrison locked itself in the Jajs fortress. The siege possibly started at the confluence of Plyvavas and the siege machines were installed in the half circle of Kavo Polborsi Baslusi. Though the contemporary cannons could cause little damage to the walls as their fire range varied from 300 to 900 meters, which was also the range covered by the archery of the defenders. The king exhorted his troops by giving out letters of land donation to those who emerged in battle. In order to officially induct these manners he set up his own chancellery in the camp to administrate them. On the day of the planned general offensive the captains of the fortress called for surrender talks, which led to an agreement the same day. Those who wanted to leave could do so without their slaves. The rest was free to join the Black Army. Around 400 soldiers chose to be drafted into the Hungarian army including the head captain Yusuf Bey. Aftermath the smaller forts in the region were quickly recovered and were reorganized as a part of the Hungarian Banate of Jajs. Mathias Corvinus appointed John Zikli of Hidveg as the new captain and Americ Zipalia as the new governor of Bosnia. Vladislav Herzegovic was awarded the Zupas of Gornji Vekifu Scotland Prizorama. King Mathias Corvinus also gifted the fortress of Medvegrad to the French pans for their merits in the siege. Stephen Girandi saved his life when he shot a whale. Turk during the siege and thus was rewarded the right to bear personal coat of arms. The Venetian-Ottoman conflict escalated into the Ottoman-Venetian War.